But thank you all so, so much for being here tonight. I hope you had a good time. If you didn't, don't tell anybody. And of course, a big thanks to all the staff here at the Dream Cafe, keeping us some food, keeping us some water. Thanks to Grant over on the board for making sure you can hear me nice and loud. And of course, as always, thank you to uh, Peter and Deborah for, for having this venue and for letting us uh, enjoy what goes on in the wall. I've kind of been sandwiched in this week between two of my heroes, Morgan Davis and somebody who, uh, you know, when I first moved to Halifax back on the East Coast, he was somebody I went to every Thursday night to kind of steal from him, really. <laughs> And Jim Burns is here on Friday and Saturday, I believe, with uh, Steve Dawson. So come on back for that one. That's going to be uh, that's going to be amazing. So I'm going to finish off the tune I wrote with a good friend of mine who I played here before. I asked last time with Mike Stevens, and uh, this song's all about a guy whose relationship with a woman that uh, he doesn't want to be in a relationship with anymore. But uh, no matter how hard he tries, he just can't seem to get away from her, and uh, he ends up coming to the conclusion the only fellow she's actually fit for is the devil. So. Uh, <laughs> So cuddle up nice and close to that special someone. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much.
Now I'll get you to picture yourselves going home some night after work. On your way home, you decide to stop at the pub and to grab a quick drink. You settle up to the bar, you start chatting with the bartender for a little bit. Before too long, he's taken away to deal with somebody else. With your drink in hand, you just take a casual look around the room to see who else there and see what's going on. Your attention is drawn to this one couple off in the corner all by themselves. Looks like they're having a very intense conversation. You look at the woman and she's just, she's just talking away and talking away and talking away and talking away. <laughs> Sipping on some kind of a drink that has no bread. <laughs> you look at the man, he's just, He's just shaking his head, shaking his head, shaking his head, shaking his head, shaking his head. Staring down at Tim Ibby shot glasses. <laughs> so you concentrate on this man for a few more minutes. You start to recognize the look come across his face. It's the look of a man who's got something to say he's been wanting to say for an awfully long time. She has no idea it's coming. <laughs> So like any polite citizen would do, you grab your drink and turn yourself around in your bar stool so that you can get a good look at all the action. <laughs> and just as he stands up and he kicks back his chair and he throws down that last shot of whiskey, the whole room goes quiet. This is what everybody hears him say. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thank you.